My great-grandfather homesteaded here in 1896 and I'm the fourth generation to farm and live here. Farm 4,000 acres, 2,000 acres of wheat and 800 acres of canola and 500 acres of sunflowers and the soybeans are around 700 acres. So We were trying to auger grain from the combine right into the side chute of a small bin and we had it all lined up and and uh, my dad was going to auger it in and he asked if he should go ahead and do that and I said yeah go ahead. Well he accidentally pressed the wrong button on the combine and it swung the auger in instead of augering it out and it pushed me right off the bin. So it happened in a very quick hurry and it was all over with. Yeah, but you're lucky to be alive because he landed right in between two fan bins, so or two fans. So yeah, he was very lucky. It was just a shoulder. <laughs> it broke my my upper arm bone right in the shoulder area. Kind of shattered it in three breaks there. So it was didn't take long to realize I wouldn't be able to to do much or finish my harvest. So it was. That's what happened, so. When he first got hurt, he had to have his arm in a sling, and then he went in for his surgery, and it was worse than what they thought it was, and they put in a plate with eight screws, and um, yeah, with his limitations, he wasn't able to hardly do anything in the tractor or the field at all. He still can up to this point. He's just too hard for him to get in and out of a tractor with one arm and be able to run both levers or... Till this point they haven't wanted me to be lifting or using it in any way. So that's been very tough to to not use it and you want to and you start feeling a little better but the doctor advised me not to so... Farm Rescue came in and harvested our sunflower crop. It was about 500 acres so... This is the first time they had actually done sunflowers, as I'm told, so it went rather well. It was a nice crop of sunflowers. So we had three guys come from Farm Rescue, and it was, JR was kind of the crew leader, but they all did a real good job and very helpful, so we sure appreciated it. They knew, they knew what they were doing, and if they didn't, they asked for help, and course they'd never done sunflowers so and this is my first year for flowers so it took us a little while to get the machine set but once we got that done it was it worked out great so real good equipment it was is all and well maintained and ready to go the RDO equipment. If it wasn't for the sponsorship there probably wouldn't be a farm rescue and it's definitely a need out there for farmers who need it. It's great that they're willing to, to sponsor Farm Rescue and uh, it's so helpful to have all the help and the help from ADM and CHS and Walmart, RDO, Bremer Bank, Underseed and many more. I can't even name them all but they're very, very helpful to have their, their help to make this possible. It seemed like the community noticed right away and I was in town the next day for some physical therapy and people were already asking if they were here. They thought they, some people had seen them roll in and so forth and so they were kind of excited to, to see them around. So. I know a neighbor was, um, was passing by and she noticed Farm Rescue was out in the field with their flags flying and she said she pulled over to the side of the road and took a picture because she just thought it was great that Farm Rescue was here helping a friend and a neighbor of theirs. So they thought it was great that it was very visible.